this is a touch of tarot my name is genevieve and i'm going to be doing a reading for you asking when is love coming in okay i don't know what that is but it fell i'm going to start by pulling three oracles so i'll only flip one over at first um and then some tarot cards and then i'll move this into the extended if you want to join me everything is below including my link to my other channel which I think is awesome, and it's helping some people out from this channel and others, um, just randoms, and I'm happy to do that. So check it out if you'd like. It's called Jen Lauren. Let's see what the first card is. Oh my gosh, Virgo, we have free yourself. Now, this could mean so many things. Um, it's just the beginning. It's time to take back control of your life. So this could mean a lot. This could mean you're leaving a situation, you're leaving a way of thinking, you're no longer holding yourself back from being your beautiful, creative unicorn self, right? Like this free flowing. Let me see what's going on here. I just noticed something. This unicorn, I've never noticed this, but it looks a bit injured. It's very sad, actually, what I'm noticing here. Um, you may be leaving a bit of abuse, okay? And just that's for some. There's blood here. I can't deny it. Maybe leaving a whole lifestyle, okay? So let's start with some cards. This is the first one wanting to come out. Oh, three of swords energy. Second one wanting to come out. The strength card makes sense. And we have... The three of pentacles, and I will tell you what's sticking out is the ace of pentacles. Okay, so let's get into this. For yourself, you may have been involved in a third party situation, and I'm saying that because we have two threes here. Um, I do want to say for you specifically, when is this love coming in? Most likely once you free yourself from the memories, whatever it is that you're hanging on to, once you have the strength to move forward and reunite with yourself, first of all, like for whatever love is going to come in, you need to free yourself, plain and simple. Um, because no matter what, if you're still reliving the past, the universe will just give you more of that. So if you don't free yourself from this past heart ache and hurt, take your power back and fully close out and just look at it and say goodbye you will just repeat the cycle if you were in a third party there's a real need to come to terms with that and to let go um i don't know why you were hanging on if you were like there's something here that wasn't good to hang on to let's see what else we have here maybe because it was it felt good you know, and that's only physically, by the way, passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. I think you really did enjoy it. And that's how you got stuck in it. Um, you may have been the person abusing yourself by staying in a situation, Virgo. Let's see what we have here. Success. Well, it's hard to break free of uh, energy like that, right? This could be something you know you need to do. And you're just sitting there, hanging on to something dead. This person has a skull in their hand. And they're just not taking that step yet. Their legs are crossed. It's like, I'm not going anywhere. This is really what I get, Virgo, is that someone here, so you or your person, whoever's in the third party like, and relates to this, it's almost like you don't want to lose. And that's what hurts you more than anything. You like to be successful. You like to have this connection. And it's like you want it because it feels good. But it actually doesn't. It actually doesn't, okay? So let's see what else we get. Let's get another card for Virgo. When is this going to happen? Maybe in three months. Maybe by then you'll be able to um, make that choice to take that leap. Uh, look at, we have the two of stones here, but we also have 
this seven of scrolls. This is about someone lying to themselves, seven of swords energy. But, you know, to make that choice, to walk through a new door, to close the other door, to go towards what you truly want. It's not the easiest. And what I get why it's not the easiest is because I'm going to be honest, like your person or the person that you're walking away from, let me just, before I, I don't want to see what this is coming out here. The, okay, another seven. So I just feel like this person doesn't really care. And you may actually know that. You may know that this person just wanted passion. Um, this is actually the Knight of Swords or the Page of Swords, but it's they're carrying a wand. And then we have the King of, of Wands here. This is so bizarre. <laughs> This deck has is really interesting because then we have the Knight of Wands here, but he's carrying a sword. It's so bizarre. But here's the Knight of Swords, or the Page of Swords, I should say, carrying a wand. I feel like this person lied. They came in, they were very passionate, very magnetic. They were a good talker. There's just going to be something that's difficult to leave. And I just feel it's because this person isn't going to chase. Look at the lovers. This person, and even with the Three of Cups energy and the illusionist here, um, this person may have many other options or this person may be in an actual strong commitment. Whatever it is, it's very important for you to free yourself. It's not easy, though, because you're wounded. So, Virgo, let me pull one more card before I move into the extended. You know, the nice thing here with these two energies, even though I really feel it's what you felt in the past, you can have that again somewhere else. You can have a magnetic connection with someone else that's successful, truly successful. And it could even be saying that you making that choice brings you love. But I do feel this person is in another situation and it hurts you to know and be aware that they will not chase you. Something like that. Let's get one more card here. So we have two that came out and it is the Golden Flower Temperance with the Devil, Bella Rosa. Whenever I see that, I always say someone's name could be Bella or Rosa. And hi, Bella, if you're watching. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, if you want to join Patreon, I'd love to see you there. But this is literally talking about really kind of facing the truth and a need to heal from some sort of a toxic situation you were in. I'm getting you put yourself in, okay? Like there's a message you need to know. Like you can free yourself and you've stayed here way too long. And you may actually be waiting even another three one months, maybe three weeks. That was about to come out. Three months. <laughs> three months. Three weeks or months. But I do believe you have a very strong karmic connection to someone. And it feels good at times when it's physical. Mentally, let's see what's coming up. Mentally, it leaves you in confusion. Four of Swords energy here. It leaves you not knowing. And a lot of confusion. Okay, so I hope to see you on Patreon, Virgos. And if not, I mean, that's a straight up message for you. Thank you so much for liking the video and subscribing if you haven't yet. So you can get more videos coming to you. Um, but the likes really help and even a comment. I do like to know where you're from. So I'd love to hear that, but even a comment of an explanation mark can help or a question mark, anything, any comments really help. Okay, guys, thank you so much. See you on Patreon or maybe not. Bye for now. Bye for now.